I'm David Rukos, I'm Deputy Sales and Marketing Director of COGES and I'm currently based in Bogota to help my team uh, co-organize Expo Defensa with our partners from Corferias and the Ministry of Defense of Colombia. As you know, defense and security are completely intertwined sectors in Latin America and their budgets have consistently increased in the last years and diversified. This stems from the need to protect such a huge region and its natural resources, but also from very concrete threats. I'm thinking about internal conflicts who have posed serious safety problems on the populations and on the neighboring countries. I'm also talking about issues related to border security and control and piracy, highly uh, technological cyber attacks on governments, and of course the new and not so new problems that were highlighted by the COVID-19 pandemics, such as for example safety issues related to migration flows, but also criminal gangs, drug trafficking that is increasing in some countries of this region. The aim of Expo Defensa is very simple, is to help you as an exhibitor make business and consolidate your business in Latin America. Basically, it's bringing in an international offer to meet with the requirements of a regional demand. Expo Defensa is organized by three heads. You first have the Ministry of Defense of Colombia, who is very involved in the organization of Expo Defensa. In the invitation of official delegations, more than 400 delegations have been invited from uh, more than 60 countries so far. And of course, professional buyers and visitors. You have Porferias, who has an extensive experience in organizing exhibitions in Latin America. They organize more than 60 exhibitions a year. And us, of course, COGES, as the subsidy of Defense Industry Association, we are specialists in these sectors. And we are specialists in the organization of defense and security shows. We organize Eurosatory in Paris, which is the biggest show in the world. So all of this combined makes Expo Defensa a better experience. Colombia geographically links Central and South America, the Atlantic and the Pacific. It is a member of the OECD. It is the only Latin American strategic ally of NATO. And it is the second biggest budget in defense in the region and the first per GDP. So, of course, of course, it's the best platform to be able to organize and host such an exhibition. Expo Defensa is the main Latin American defense and security exhibition in all domains. 70% of its exhibitors are international and we are continuing on that dynamic. Negative effects of the pandemic on the exhibitions these last two years, we have a good dynamic. Sales are still open. So far we have exhibitors from more than 17 countries that are represented. Some of them will exhibit within national pavilions, the USA, France, Israel, Spain, Brazil and so on. If you take the 30 exhibitors who are loyal to Expo Defensa and compare their surfaces from 2019 to 2021, there is an increase of more than 13% of their surface. Besides the traditional themes of defense and security, we will be focusing on safe cities, satellite navigation, simulation, the multi-domain use of drones and unmanned vehicles, piracy and maritime security. These are important themes that will probably also be raised during the workshops and conferences at Expo Defensa. So by the dates of Expo Defensa, most Colombian and international participants will be vaccinated. Corferias is a very biosafe venue. It has received international labels, for example, the biosafety label from Bureau Veritas, biosecurity protocols, and the authorization and certification of the Ministry of Trade and Industry of Colombia to be able to host events. They have already hosted events without problems, so we will be issuing rules and regulations and health protocols for our exhibitors and visitors, and I'm pretty optimistic that everything will go well. As events organizers, we're very happy to meet people again. You need to see the technicalities of the products, you need to have private conversations with the delegation, so we're we're very glad to receive all of our participants at Expo Defensa in November and December.